I think probably over the last two years as Home Secretary that removing people um, from the UK with no legal basis um, to be in the UK is difficult and it is hard. And I have to say I'm sure that there are many of you in this room that have written about some of the legal cases and things of that nature and some of the barriers that we face. But don't forget as well, that's why we have the new plan for immigration, the National anti borders Bill. We are ready to operationalise and that's incredibly important. I do want to emphasise that. That is the nature of our partnership. So our teams have been coming here for months and months and months, not just to negotiate, but to look at how we can operationalise this partnership. And of course that covers resettlement, accommodation, the practicalities, meeting people's care needs, legal needs, etc., etc. We have a plan, a joint plan together to do that. And you've asked about the accommodation facilities here and leases. I mean, obviously that is for the government here. Um, but we know through the work that our technical teams have been doing, week after week and even over the days that we've been here as well and I had a team prior to my, my arrival here as well. We've all been working through the specific details of removals and also where the first arrivals will go to. This program will be um, dedicated to asylum seekers who are already in the UK. For other people who want to come to Rwanda to, to seek asylum or who want to be refugees in this country, there are existing channels and that, those ones will be used. And the government of Rwanda will use uh, the existing programs to, to, to address that, uh, that aspect. So direct flights for people who want to come here and uh, benefit from this program, uh, it, it won't work. They, it is addressing people who are seeking asylum from the UK and who are already in the UK. For others, there are existing mechanisms which will be used and uh, they have been uh, used in the past. They are still, using, they are still being used today. Um, we're very clear that everyone who enters the UK illegally um, will be considered um, for um, resettlement and being brought over to Rwanda. I'm not going to divulge specific criteria for a number of reasons because, quite frankly, we are trying to break the model of the people smuggling gangs who use a range of um, ways in which to provide facilitation to our country and then obviously provide legal challenges to us as well. But the vast majority, I think it's important to say this, of people that have been arriving to the UK via illegal means such as small boats, via the people smugglers, um, you know, will obviously um, be considered to be relocated. Maybe I can add that some of the criteria we'll be considering as uh, government of Rwanda would be, uh, let's say, criminal records, for example, and uh, we'd prefer not to receive people from neighboring countries, immediate neighbors, like uh, DRC, like Burundi, Uganda, or Tanzania, but uh, those are just some, but there will be a system in place to screen all those who would, we, who would wish to come here or those who have been identified as people uh, likely to benefit from this program. So we have a team in place and uh, uh, we need to go through uh, the fires and uh, set a number of criteria and we we'll keep working with the UK government on this.